Did you know an interventional radiologist can treat tumors, bleeding, and blockages all without surgery? Well, that's completely true. Nowadays, there are many procedures that, that can be done essentially just through a pinhole, like a needle puncture, an IV puncture, that can treat tumors. If you have a relatively small tumor in the liver or in the kidney, even cancers can be treated by inserting a special needle that will completely burn or freeze that tumor, and that's a curative treatment. For larger or multiple liver lesions in the liver, we can also sometimes snake a little catheter through the groin or even to the wrist and navigate and find the blood vessel feeding that tumor. And we can inject either a radioactive material that will completely destroy the cancer or chemotherapy directly to the cancer, which is more effective and has less side effects than systemic chemotherapy. You see, in the past, if you had a GI bleeding or a bleeding after a car accident, for example, you would need major surgery to actually go in and stop the bleeding. Nowadays, we can snake small catheters, small tubes into your blood vessels and using x-rays, we can navigate to this specific blood vessel that is bleeding and then we can inject a special type of glue or put a plug to stop the bleeding while preserving the flow to your major organs. Sometimes if a major blood vessel was torn, we can put a little stent with fabric that will close and patch the hole that is bleeding and stop the bleeding saving a life without doing major surgery. In the other hand, if you develop a blood clot in your leg or a blood clot even going to the brain, with new state-of-the-art devices, we can navigate to exactly where the clot is and then aspirate or remove the clot without any incisions. Now, if your problem is a plaque or aterosclerosis and you have lack of the blood flow to your legs, an arm, a kidney, or a liver, or intestines, nowadays we can almost always navigate a catheter to the blockage, and sometimes we can open even a complete blockage by putting a stent or simply using a balloon that can sometimes be medicated with drugs. I feel like being an interventional radiologist is like being a magician because you have to learn all these little tricks of how to do things without actually just cutting in and going in.